Hey guys and welcome, my name is Dank and today we're going to talk about the new imbuement system here in uh, Lord of Rings Online update 16. So the biggest change in this uh, new patch is how the legendary weapons work now. They will finally grow with us and we won't have to replace them every 5 levels, which is amazing. Um, so here, This video will just show you, give you the basics and then hopefully you guys can go ahead and uh, start making your own weapons. So first thing you notice is your legendary points get reset, so remember that. And that you have to reset all your points if you don't go and imbue right away. <clears throat> so how you imbue is, you just go to the Forge Master and you have a new tap here, imbue legendary item. Yeah, you can do it, tell me about imbuement if you want to read through this and get some little more, more detail. There's a, um, a developer diary about it. But just a quick breakdown. First, some legacies changed. So even so, if you had your first age for quite a while and it was perfect, it might change. It's different now. Um, stuff changed. So you might want to uh, make sure that uh, your weapon still has uh, what you like on it. For me, I think it's still uh, okay. Uh, same here. I think it's still okay. So, how does it work? I want to show you how it works. Um, but first, I'm gonna take a little weapon, a weapon that I don't, that I haven't leveled yet, because I want to show you guys why it's important to only view items that are level 70 already, even so the restart basically at level one. But you want to have them all the way up. Reason for this is, if we take, I gotta identify something first and equip it. Alright, so if I take this weapon now, you go to imbue weapon item here. Can't undo this, so make sure that you want to do this. So we're gonna take my new level one weapon <clears throat> straight out. We're gonna imbue it. This will tell you what it will do. So you click imbue item. Can't be undone anymore. Ooh, actually, I didn't even notice this cool graphic here. So now this item is imbued. Um, we cannot deconstruct it anymore. So if you would go to the relic master over here and ask him to deconstruct our weapons, uh, you won't be able to do this anymore. The weapon won't show up. So the only way to destroy it is to destroy it. But if we look at this now, the way the new imbuement system works is instead of, you know, ranking it up yourself, what now happens is it ranks up automatically. So every time I gain XP. So let's use a rune here. I'm gonna apply this rune and all my skills will get item XP. So it means that you won't have, you know, something that you don't have points to rank anymore. You know, I didn't really put anything in here because didn't have the points anymore, so it was kind of useless. There's nothing that's useless anymore. But, <clears throat> so you see that there's no more ranks, but you see one out of a 15 over here. So your weapons now level up 50 times base. But you can get unlock 10 unlockable tiers. The way to do this is, um, I think you can put in one scroll of delving, and the rest are starlight uh, crystals. Now, if you have a second age or first age, you will start higher. I think a first age starts out of 1 out of 20, for example. So you need less starlight crystals. So it's an advantage uh, to use a first age, but you can get, technically get a third age to the same damage as a first age now. Same with our normal skills here. So the bear damage, um, 1 out of 27, it can go up to uh, 35. See, I've unlocked 2 out of 10 unlockable tiers. How do you increase this is by scores of empowerment. <clears throat> uh, you see that this one was 1 out of 28 instead of 1 out of 27. So the difference here is when I imbued this, should have shown that, this was a tier 3 relic already. Making uh, my 1 out of 28 instead of 1 out of 25. So if you have a weapon that already has, you know, a tier 6, you only need, let me think, 4 scores of empowerment. 
So it's a big advantage of using a weapon that is already leveled up. You know, this one will take less scores of less uh, scores of empowerment than another weapon. Also, once you level this, you don't unlock legacies anymore. To unlock a legacy, you will need uh, your crystals of remembrance, or you need to buy it with 99 mythical coins, which is really expensive. I mean, what are 100 mythical coins right now? Let's check real quick. The little straw works. They're going to be pretty pricey. So you want to have all your levels already, so you get all your skills. And then the last one you still have to unlock with um, um, Crystal of Remembrance. Yeah, so 99 would be 850 turban points, so it's really pricey. And also, you cannot use your scrolls anymore if you want to play stuff. You can't use these scrolls anymore. The only way to replace something on here is, well, first of all, you can increase your maximum tier, but you could also replace Legacy. You have to pay Mythical Coins, or you have to buy in the store, um, I forgot what it's called, you have to buy in the scroll here, an imbue Legacy Replacement Scroll for 500 Turban Points. Ridiculously expensive. So make sure when you view your weapon that you have what you want. So we're gonna look over this again. So once I imbue my weapon, my first edge here, uh, stuff will change. So rush evade rating. I don't want rush evade rating. It's really bad. Uh, heart and heal strength is okay. Transfer both bonus wrath is okay. I like how it will give you now a better breakdown than it did uh, before. Man from damage is okay, healing potency is good, uh, the might can stay, that's fine. So it will also tell you if you can look at this, the final tier, 35, you get you know, what you get from this. So you can see uh, what you want. But yeah, rush evade rating, I, d I don't want this. Now, I need to replace this now, because if I replace this later, I need to pay 500 to 1 points. Look at my weapon. Same thing here. Um, might is okay. Uh, chance for return is okay. Beast Swarm, Critical Defense, Sweep of... I don't know. Call White, Physical, Mastery... I don't know. Execute damage, uh, bear damage... It's all not uh, that great. I would rather have... probably... Well, I would have to look up what exactly there is now. Bee Swarm damage might be better than Bee Swarm critical defense. Eh, actually, I like this. I like this. This, this can help a lot. So, what you can do is, you want to look up <coughs> what um, what changed. So, what we have to do now is we have to look look it up here in the forum. You can find the update 16 legacy changes. You can find this in. Uh, you go to the forum, uh, release notes and known issues, and go to update 16 legacy changes and full update list. Alright, so we're interested in the Beyonding for our weapon. Rush evade rating, we don't want this anymore. So those are the things that changed. So if you look all the way down, I think... No, we can't see that. Ooh, I thought we could see it down here. Alright, so we have to decide now... What we want. We can get the cry damage. Which I think would not be bad. But I think that's on my little... It's a class legacy, so this is on... Uh, the Not on the weapon itself. Uh, I'm actually not sure what I want instead. This is not a complete list. Turbine. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a complete list. So they only show the changes here. Which is rather sad, I think. Um, what 
Well, but as I said, this one is okay. For the other one, I will have to think a little bit more. So let's go ahead and imbue this. But before, let's look at it again. So I have everything on tier 6, except of my might, I have a tier 4. So keep that in mind. Also, I have uh, no crystals, uh, starlit crystals in here right now. Let's go ahead and imbue it. my cool move. <laughs> Alright, so let's look at our weapon again. Uh, it's right here. So you can see, because it was the first age, okay, it starts at 19 apparently if it's the first age. So I would need six more uh, Starlight Crystals. Quite a bit. My Might, which was a tier 4, starts at 129, while my, all my rest was at tier 6. So it starts at 1 over 31. So that's good. So I only need, well, I only need 4 scores of empowerment to get those all the way up to um, to level 31, uh, 35. So what I want to do is I want to put in some, some runes and I also want to show you what happens when you unlock another legacy. I think I should have a Crystal of Remembrance, I should have prepared that. I just wanted to show you guys what will happen when you uh, do that. And there's really no reason anymore not to unlock all your legacies because um, all your stuff can level now. Yep, I have a Crystal of Remembrance here, so we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna use it. And our weapon. Apply. And there you go. Now we can unlock our legacy slot. And the cool thing is we can, you know, pick whatever we want. This is what we have. This is what we can pick. Whatever we want. So we could be Beast Swarm damage, Relentless Small damage, uh, Turn to Tides, Vigilant Raw damage, Thinking High Tactical. Or we can pick Agility, Fade, Vitality, Will. Um, I think Relentless Small damage would make the most sense. Seems like B damage would be okay too. But yeah, so this is what happened when you will unlock your last legacy slot. So if you have a Crystal of Remembrance, I would wait until um, you view and then use it. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the legacy. <clears throat> and there we go. It starts as, as a tier 1, unfortunately, so you'll need 10 scores of empowerment, which hurts a lot. But for 10 scores of empowerment, you get 4% uh, more damage. Do you need this right away? Probably not. I mean, everybody wants to be at the top right away, but it's not really necessary. So how much XP do you need to level this all the way up now? I'm not going to put any scores of empowerment right now. It's not fun to watch. Oh, we can put in a Starlight Crystal, so you guys can see what happens then. I um, actually wanted to go to my normal vault. And get some experience out of here. You will need a lot of experience. But remember, there's a lot of new quests too when you get um, new XP. So let's use the Scarlet Crystal on our uh, Quake Club. So what do you do? It will unlock another tier on my DPS. Now they increase the drop rate for those, so hopefully they will drop faster. So you see, now it's 8 out of 20. Uh, does it show how high it would be? So, DPS is actually quite significant. Uh, from 20 to 25 is 5 extra DPS. It's pretty good. So I like really like how it, the XP works now. Just put in the item XP here and now everything levels. You saw all the stuff went up to 4 out of 25, 4 out of 31 or whatever. So you don't have to ever, you know, put in ranks again and do all that annoying stuff. It just levels with you. And I like that a lot, but you will need a lot of XP. So this I had, you know, six of those, one of that, you know, close to seven million XP. Will that be enough? Well, we, we leveled up here that our DPS, it's maxed out. But you can see that you need. I'm putting right now. 
800,000 XP in there. And it takes a lot of these. And you know what? A lot of people are like, oh, it's a grind, but it's okay. I mean, it's supposed to grow with you over time. And I think that's fine. I'm gonna wait with the rest because I'm gonna put in the scores of empowerment to increase these. Um, tracking does not work with imbued items anymore. It doesn't make sense to track your XP anymore. Um, it's just gonna say max, whatever it was when you imbued it. I would recommend a level up to 70 because then you get, you save some scores of empowerment basically. Uh, definitely level up to 30 so you don't have to pay for extra skills. That would be um, very unfortunate. Um, nothing changed up here with the settings, gems and runes, all the same. Also you can see here 219 out of 229, so it just is what I have right now. Um, but if I increase this, it would not be 229, but you know, whatever the maximum is, I don't, I don't know off my head right now. Also, um, right now, bridles cannot be imbued. I will assume that comes in later, but I probably have to change some stuff. Didn't have the time to do that. Okay, I think I've showed pretty much everything. Do I have a one scroll of empowerment just to show it off real quick? Um, no, I don't, I don't have a scroll of empowerment in here right now. So all, all I really would do is, using a scroll of empowerment would just, as I said, increase this up one tier, so it would be 29 out of 30. It does not go like the 30 out of 30 would make it 29 out of 30, and then you have to put in item XP again. And then 35 is the max right now. And then, you know, if they ever increase the level cap, it would be out of 40 then. And that's the idea, you don't have to destroy your weapon every time. Um, backslash of things that could happen, I would imagine, would be a problem if, if they change any legacies and you don't like them anymore, you would have to pay 500 turbo to replace it. Uh, I think they're gonna have to do something. If they change like legacies around a lot, they're, they're gonna have to give us the opportunity to change that. I don't know, I think it's a good system. It makes more sense than before. It's a huge grind in the beginning, but once you're up there, you don't have to replace your weapon anymore. Which was the biggest grind all the time, is you replacing your weapon every five levels. So it's super annoying. Don't have to do this anymore. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I have to say to this right now. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment, um, just ask away, there's probably going to be a lot of questions here lately, uh, in the next uh, days. So to recap, make sure when you imbue a weapon that you have the legacies you want, because you can't change it anymore unless you want to pay a lot of money. Uh, make sure to do it with a level 70 weapon to save scores of empowerment. And if you want to destroy it, if you want to get rid of an imbued weapon, say you imbued something you didn't want to imbue, you gotta do this. That's the only way to get rid of it. <laughs> it hurts, but that's the only way. Alright guys, so if you have any questions, or if I missed something, or if you have any uh, cool ideas, uh, let me know. And uh, just you know, give me a comment. Thanks for watching us, and I'll see you guys next time.